Hey guys, Amanda Rouse here with AZ Health Zone in the Town of Parker Community Health Outreach Program, and welcome back to another episode of Food for Thought. In this week's episode, we make some delicious and super easy green chili enchiladas. As usual, we wash our hands and all the produce. We then preheated the oven to 350 degrees. We added in the two tablespoons of canola oil to the saucepan and turned it on medium. We chopped up two garlic cloves and added it into the oil. After sauteing the garlic for a minute, you can then add in your two tablespoons of flour and mix it in well with the oil and garlic. Then we added the one can of cream of chicken soup and slowly stirred in the one half cup of reduced sodium chicken broth. Now add in the half teaspoon of ground cumin. We only added in half of our green chilies because we wanted to add some inside the enchiladas as well. Now it's time to prepare the inside mix. If you are strapped for time, we recommend making a whole chicken in a crock pot or you can buy a cooked chicken from the store. Both of these are great time-saving hacks. We added in the rest of the green chilies, the thawed corn, and the spinach. Before you add the spinach, you will want to get out most of the water so it doesn't make the enchiladas watery. So we pat it down with a couple of paper towels and mix it in. Adding vegetables into foods like this recipe is a great way to get your kids to eat more of them. Now add in your last ingredient, the 3 fourths cup of cheese, and start stuffing the corn tortillas. A trick for easy rolling tortilla is to heat them up in the microwave for 10 seconds so they don't rip. Once you have all your 12 tortillas rolled, you can add your sauce and top them off with some cheese. And bake for 15 minutes or until the cheese is melted. Just a little information before the end results. This recipe is from the Colorado River Indian Tribes Food Distribution Program in the Let's Cook Together cookbook they provided to their customers. But if you or anyone you know is struggling for food, reach out to your local food bank for help. And now, the final results. <laughs> 